On the growing list of failed projects, another thing we have to get rid of for a bigger project we're working on are these potato towers. I have not looked in them because I expect to find absolutely nothing inside of them. The problem with these was watering. Um, they weren't on an automatic watering system. I'd get in a hurry to get off to my uh, day job and forget to water them, and then I'd get busy at work and forget to ask my wife to water them because I didn't water them, and then I'd get home and caught up in something else, and suffice to say, I'm sure some of you have experienced that same problem in the past. So, because I promised you I would do this, let's take a look. This one did the worst. The plants hardly grew at all. Well, maybe I'm wrong. That was the worst one that grew, and I've got some little tiny Yukon gold potatoes. So, Brandon, go grab us a bucket. Maybe we're going to have enough potatoes for one dinner after all. Go. I'm going to keep digging. We're working our way toward this blue bucket. This blue bucket grew the best. It got hilled over or dirt added onto it uh, numerous times. Here's our flower pot container. That'll work. Well, I didn't expect to find a single thing. I was just going to push all these over. Now I'm actually finding myself wanting to search. That's a respectable market size little yellow potato there. Or no, these are the red potatoes. Yeah, that's a... I think I can't even remember what variety I did. I came out here to work <laughs> on a completely different project, so I didn't go back and remind myself which potatoes these are even supposed to be. If you missed these vi that, that video I did about the uh, vine that was growing everywhere, that's what, that's what you're seeing here. These are some kind of cucamelon. People have suggested many different varieties and I'm not satisfied that anybody's actually found the true variety that it is. I do believe it's a hybrid that was created right here on the property, uh, not a strain that a uh, bird deposited here or something like that. Um, but that, that's what these are and they're not palatable to me so they're just kind of out here. We might take them back and uh, rake some up and take them back to the chickens, but that's why you're gonna see me stepping all over them and I really just don't care. So, this is the bucket that was supposed to have the most potential. I apologize, my, can't, my microphone is not working. I've got another one coming in the mail, but if I was gonna show you this update like I promised I would, I couldn't wait for that. So I forget sometimes to look at the camera so you can actually hear my voice. I'm used to having a microphone on and I can just talk. Now look at this one. This one is trying to regrow. We uh, just got over a really uh, big heat wave and now it's back down getting to the 60s, like high 60 degrees Fahrenheit at night. And so I'm guessing this potato here has got a mind of its own it's wanting to go again. But. Uh, well, I don't know, Brandon, what do you think? Should we just move this bucket and let it keep growing, or what? I think we should let it keep growing. I want to see how big it is. I'm kind of interested in doing that, too. <laughs> I'm kind of, because this has got the most potential. And if I can get even more out of it by letting it grow for a few more months in fall, I wonder what the hazards are of doing that. I don't know. I don't know if I'll lose anything by doing it. Oh, well, we're going to do that. I'm going to move this bucket somewhere else out of the way of the project that Brandon and I are working on right now. Hey. And uh, we'll come back to that one in a few more months and see what comes of it. We got one more container back here, one more tower. Look at this thing. This thing is all over the place. Can you guys tell I um, haven't shown you this garden for a reason? <laughs> I think that reason's pretty obvious. And it's the reason why we've got a big project going on and why I say things are changing around here. So let me hack my way back to this. 
I watch too much sci-fi. I think these vines are gonna grab me and eat me. <laughs> So there you have it. You know, if you set out to grow potatoes, you probably wouldn't be happy about this crop. I'm tickled to death. <laughs> I expected to come in here and find nothing but sand or rotted out roots. I am tickled to death that there was anything to show you guys. So here's the story. I can't make a judgment call on these potato towers. The whole point of this was to see whether or not potato towers do what they claim to do. And that's allow you to have potatoes, not just at the bottom, but all the way up the tower since I wasn't watering them properly, they never grew properly and didn't get big enough to, to really hill. This container might give us a better idea, but at the same time, this container is only a foot tall. So it, I'm sure that the uh, general logic would be, well, the potatoes could have gone that deep in good loose, loose soil anyway, that we didn't really learn anything. What I'm most excited about, these are the first potatoes we've grown that didn't get buggy. So, the interesting thing is, I always tell people at conferences, uh, I usually get a, a question about, Jerry, what's the first thing I should try to grow? And my answer is always to grow what you know you're actually going to eat and grow just a little of it at first and gain the confidence. So the irony is, I'm on a self-imposed diet right now where I can't eat these potatoes. <laughs> So despite having grown them, I started them at a time where I planned fully on eating potatoes. But right now, uh, Jennifer suffers from extremely severe migraines, uh, very chronic migraines. And uh, we've been to the physicians and everybody in the world, and we have given up on that. We've seen, well, she's seen specifically, <laughs> I've just been with her because typically she can't drive to the appointments because she's in the middle of a migraine. Um, I think four neurologist, actual migraine specialist, and several general practitioners, uh, the Department of Veterans Affairs, and nobody is actually helping her get rid of the migraines. Nothing really, really helps. The most that's ever helped her uh, is a, uh, I don't think homeopathic's really the best word for him, but a, a homeopathic doctor, if you will. Uh, he's a psychologist that uh, does like an acupressure kind of thing. I, 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 acupressure, not puncture. Punctures with the needles, acupressure is just certain points uh, with your hands and things. So uh, he's helped her uh, before uh, alleviate a migraine temporarily, kind of get over it, but nothing over the counter, nothing prescribed. And uh, since it wasn't helping, we figured the worst she's doing is, is making it, or the, the most she's doing is making it worse. So we finally decided to uh, give up, <laughs> mostly, on conventional medicine and look back to the people that we admire for uh, a more plant-based approach. And we've got our good friend, uh, Lindsay, up there at Sweet Gum Springs Apothecary in Starkville, Mississippi, uh, who recommended that we try the paleo diet uh, for a couple months and see if that helps. Uh, along with uh, a couple different, uh, well, specifically one medicine that she produces that helps to regulate uh, yeast inside of the flora in your uh, digestive tract. Well, anyway, so I got off on a tangent there, but all that's to say, we can't eat potatoes right now. So we'll either store these away or we'll just let the kids eat them and uh, we'll go from there because uh, I really don't want to break a diet for one day just to find out that potatoes are the thing that are... Uh, causing an imbalance that's giving her migraines. So, we will come back and explore the tub at a later date. Until then, the official story is no results on the potato tower. It's another failed experiment. Uh, and hopefully, when you guys see what we're doing here, uh, you'll understand why things are changing. Thank you all so much for watching. 
See you next time.